Hey everyone, welcome back to Python for Beginner series and this is going to be our fifth exercise and here is the question that is write a program that asks the user for a sentence and then print the sentence with all vowels replaced by an asterisk. So let's solve this exercise. This is going to be our fifth exercise that is replace vowels with asterisk.py hit enter use comment let me close it first okay and paste the question here so i'm going to use the variable sentence equal to input enter a sentence or you can change the variable to string as well ask the user for input using the input function okay and it stores users input as a string in the sentence variable now same steps we have to follow we have to create the variable name that is vowels equal to and i am assigning the vowels here a e i o u a e i o u okay so this is going to be the value okay there is there are five vowels in english language so we'll use it here like i have written it in a small uh, character and a capital character as well let me write it here this line create a string of vowels called vowels okay so vowels will be the variable here let's start our loop for character in for character in sentence colon okay so the below line begins a loop that will iterate over each character in a sentence now we'll use the if statement okay character in vowels and we'll use the colon sentence is equal to sentence dot replace character with the asterisk right so this block of code checks if the current character is a vowel using the in operator okay okay if the character is a vowel it replaces the character with an asterisk using the replace method at this line we are checking the current character is a vowel using the in operator and at this line we are checking if the character is a vowel okay it will replaces the character with an asterisk like sentence dot replace character to asterisk okay by using the replace method with the help of replace method we can replace any character with the other character okay let's print the sentence so we are printing the sentence here so this is our simple program to replace all vowels by an asterisk in a string let me save the file and run the program enter a sentence okay let's say we are anonymous okay so as you guys can see all the vowels are replaced by an asterisk Press letter DJ. Let's hit enter. So all the vowels are replaced by an asterisk. Let's run the program again. We don't forget. We don't forget. Again, okay, this great. So our program is working now. Let's see the next question. Okay, so our next question is write a program that prints the numbers from 1 to 10 using a for loop. So it is a very easy exercise. Let's do it together. So let's go to the explorer and create a new file 5.1 number from 1 to 10.py. Let me close this. Okay, so we have to write the for loop number for number in range from 1 to 11 we'll use colon so basically uh, this 
this for loop iterate over a range of numbers from 1 to 11. The range function generate a sequence of number from the start value to the end value which is why we use range to get the number from 1 to 10. So basically the range function returns a sequence of numbers starting from 0 by default and increments by 1 by default and stop before a specified number. So it will count from 1 to 10. Okay, but we have to specify the 11 here. Let's write print number. Cool. Okay, I'm sorry. Let's save the file and run the code. Okay, as you guys can see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we have print the number from 1 to 10 using a for loop. Great. Let's see our next question. That is write a program that asks the user to enter a number and then prints the times table for that number up to 10. So we have to write a table in Python. So let's do this exercise. Let's go to the explorer, create a new file, 5.2 print the tables.py. Okay, let me close it. Comment the question. Okay. We use num equal to integer, sorry, input and enter a number. I will use the for number in range. So we'll use the range function here as well from 1 to 11 colon print. We'll use the formatted string. We'll use the placeholder for our num into number is equal to num into number okay great let's save the program so this program will ask the user to enter a number store it in a variable called num after that we are using the for loop to iterate over number from 1 to 10 with the help of the range function and it will print the result of num multi multiplied by the loop variable that is number. So our number is a loop variable. So let's save the program and run the code 5. So here is a table of 5. Okay, let's run the program again. 25. This is a table of 25. 14. This is a table of 14. Great. So our program is working and we have completed three exercises in the series. The first one is this. Write a program that asks the user for a sentence and then prints the sentence with all vowels replaced by an asterisk. In second program, we have print the number from 1 to 10 using a for loop. In third exercise, we have print the table of a given number. So that's it for this video guys i hope you like it if you did then please share this video with your friends and your colleagues and make sure that you guys are subscribing to my youtube channel we'll see you in my next video till then take care and keep learning Bye bye